What's going on guys? Tom here. Uh, I know it's been a while since I posted a video. I've got a bunch in the backlog that I still need to post, uh, including a, uh, a little update video for the channel and why I've been kind of slacking on uh, videos. So stay tuned for that, uh, you know, in the upcoming weeks. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, obviously this is not my truck behind me. Uh, if you're familiar with my uh, 2021 F-150 Power Boost, it's got uh, towing mirrors and it's the crew cab and all that. And this is not a power boost or towing mirrors or a crew cab. Um, so let's, uh, let's get into the reason why here. So I just got back from the dealer and um, I just, uh, the only reason I went there was for an oil change and a tire rotation. Uh, I got like three free ones, you know, with the purchase of the truck. I think two were from the dealer itself and then um, I got one from Ford or something like that. I can't remember how that works. But anyways, uh, oil change, tire rotation. It was taking a long time, couldn't figure out why, because uh, they had pulled the truck in a while ago and they said I was next. So, um, you know, usually these things don't take too long. Uh, but long story short, uh, the uh, they come to me and they say uh, that there's a problem with the truck and uh, they, they called it, the term they used was grounded. Uh, basically, the uh, it, they claimed it wasn't safe to drive. Um, so what they showed me, and I'm going to, uh, I'll keep my audio going here, but I'm going to put a picture up here of what, what the part is. Uh, it's basically the axle bolt in the rear is uh, completely sheared off. When they took the wheels off to uh, to do the tire rotation, the, that nut, or sorry, the bolt you see with the washer, uh, was just loose in there and it just fell right out on the ground. Uh, and that's what, you know, ties in that lateral motion of the axle from what I read. It also sounds like this is a pretty common problem. Um, not just on the power boost, but anybody that got the max towing package, I think with like the 3.75, uh, ratio, I, I could be wrong on those numbers. Just, you know, don't, don't quote me on that, but that, that's what I was reading about. And, uh, you know, so it's, if it were me, if, if you guys have the max towing package on the, uh, you know, 2021, all the way up to 2023 F-150, uh, I would probably, uh, you know, obviously you should be doing tire rotations anyways. But, um, you know, I, I'd really suggest doing a, uh, you know, a tire rotation or at least take your wheels off and make sure that those bolts look okay. And I'll show you, I won't be able to show you on this, this loaner uh, exactly where it is because I got to take the wheels off to do that. But, um, you know, I'll, I'll pop under the truck here real quick and, and show you, uh, you know, where you can find it. So when I first kind of hopped under the truck, I wasn't sure which uh, bolts she was talking about uh, at the dealer because you see these, these kind of, um, there's one two and then there's a third one on the other side um it's not those it's actually if we come around the side here uh, once you take your wheel off right in the center here is going to be your axle spindle and um there will be a, a bolt that goes right in in there um and that's to i believe is to prevent lateral motion of the uh you know of the axle um I safety wise, I, I would, you know, I personally would not have driven the vehicle home uh, with that with that bolt, you know, in the middle here sheared off. Um, which so I kind of, you know, completely agree with their, um, you know, their assessment that it wasn't safe to drive. I hope it doesn't take more than a few weeks because we've got a camping trip coming up here in a couple weeks. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be tight, unfortunately. If you learned anything from this, pop your wheels off and make sure that those bolts are uh, all in one piece. And then, uh, you know, that'll just give me a piece of some peace of mind. So unexpectedly, I uh, dropped I dropped off the truck. I think it was like a Monday. I was out of town for a few days and they got it done by Friday. So um, I don't know why I'm off on the other side of the screen, sorry. Um, so uh, I do have the truck back now and uh, it turned out they had to uh, replace the axle shafts. Once I get home, I'll get the, the camera under the truck and I'll show you what's going on. And um, yeah, other than that, we're uh, just here looking at the uh, nice view of the lake. And uh, so this is uh, Canandaigua Lake and the Finger Lakes. But um, it's a great area, and um, you know if you ever get a chance to get up to upstate New York, uh, check out the Finger Lakes. Uh, but let's uh, let's head home, and then I'll uh, I'll pop the camera into the truck, and I'll show you guys, uh, um, you know what uh, what's different. All right, so we're back home. I just wanted to pop under the truck just to see uh, if anything else was replaced, because I I thought I saw like the rear differential cover had been replaced. Um, 
but it looks like it's still the existing one. Maybe they just cleaned it up a little bit because uh, they did have to take that apart. And then, um, oh, sorry, I don't know why the camera's not facing upward there. Um, so yeah, it's it's. I believe it's just the, the shafts inside here, so you won't really see anything new uh, from the outside. But they did uh, confirm that they did have to replace the axle shaft on both sides. Um, it's interesting because up here, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's an adapter right there on the right side, some kind of electrical connection that's not connected to anything. And then there's that other piece up top uh, that looks like it's supposed to hold a hose or something, and that's not connected to anything. Um, so it's kind of strange. Uh, let's see. I don't see anything else really missing. Oh, it looks like... Okay, so that looks like it goes... I just popped that in there, so that's that's really just to hold that. Like I said, I don't really know what... Oh, that's like popping out. This is kind of unfortunate. I don't really get this all put together very nicely. Not sure how that pops on there normally, though. It looks like they've got... There's that little piece. I wonder if that locks into the little groove right there. I'll see if I can get that back on there. Yeah, I'll stop recording and try it without the camera in my hand. Okay, I figured it out. So they, they had this completely put on wrong. Um, so you have to take, it's two brackets here. Uh, I don't know if you can see my finger here, but you've got this one on the end here. And then this one over here, I had to take both of these off. This one slides from the end, so it slides on the end of this bracket, this metal bracket here. And then once that's on, then you can pop this one on. It kind of hangs off the edge here, and that's that's on, on purpose. There's a little circle here that the clip locks into. So now it's all actually locked in there and, and the way it's supposed to be. So um, so yeah, I'm glad I, uh, glad I popped under here to see uh, how they had put it back together. I mean, there's other, like, places that I'm seeing that, you know, have clips with nothing on them. So I'm going to do a kind of go go through this with a fine-tooth comb and see if there's anything else they missed, um, you know, putting this back together. So, haven't had my truck back. Um, I'm always glad when the dealer gives me a loaner, but it's never, you know, your vehicle. So there's features missing and things like that that you just kind of, your creature comforts it, you're... You're used to and you, you you know you just want your own vehicle back so glad uh, glad they had a good turnaround uh, i wish they had a little better attention to detail with you know getting those uh cables reconnected and um you know mounted properly and then um you know just like i said good to have it back unfortunately just another another thing to the list of things that have kind of broken on um on this uh you know the our 2021 f-150 uh, you know, first model year, so these things do happen, but uh, I think what I'll do is I'm going to make a summary video, um, you know, now that we've had it for, uh, I guess be a, this will be our second camping season, um, so, so second year we've had it, and uh, I'll kind of make an update video of like what all the issues we've had and, um, you know, things like that, what we like, what we don't like. Uh, so stick around or, you know, uh, keep an eye on the channel for that, uh, that video. Uh, other than that, just, uh, you know, hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, please like and uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, have a good one. We'll see you in the next one.